Hey guys, welcome back. This is Planet Head. It's been a couple hours since I was playing earlier, and if you notice, I am flying a new ship and back in high sec. Uh, reason being, I got killed, but it wasn't my fault. Um, <laughs> I was out in Stain, scanning around, went through a gate and lost connection. Um, right after I went through the gate, and by the time I was able to boot back up, somebody had uh, shot my ship. So, actually, let's see here if we can figure out. It's not a big deal. Um, it was clear when I got lost my connection, but uh, let's see here. Homestead, blah, 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 blah. I think it's interactions, is it? And then, oh, yeah, I remember I can just go over here. Um, there it is. Clone activated. Yep, there I am. So, I lost my ship here. There I am to uh, Jesse Swale. I think I saw him flying around earlier. It's what it is. Uh, it's too bad. Um, I lost a little bit of uh, items there, but I didn't have a whole lot on me. So, I was checking out uh, a new area. Let's see here. I was moving up into the this area here to see what this was like. And I, I think I lost my connection right in here um so i'll check that out again but it has given me an opportunity it did drop me back into high sec which i quickly just flew over to dapari and did a couple of career agent um enforcer missions which were the easiest career agent missions um i gotta get the most important thing out here because it's coffee <laughs> um Let's see here. So, what I ended up doing was I did about three missions. Got a little bit of ISK, nothing huge. I'm not going to finish these off. I'm just going to keep using them as I need to. I was able to get an executioner. Um, executioner, and what I want to do is try to fly this out to Stain, or at least in the general vicinity. But as I'm going there, I'm just going to check it out a little bit. Uh, if you've watched my videos in the past, I've flown a lot of Mimitar and Galunti, and some Kaldari ships. I'm really trying out the Yamar here. I've flown very few of them, so I'm just going to work my way through it. This may not be the best choice of ship for me to fly, um, but it was a free one, so yes, it's the best choice. Uh, doing the missions, it gave me a couple of guns and a couple of um, crystals to put in the guns to fire. Um... And I've still got my civilian afterburner on here that I stole from my uh, Corvette. And then I did pick up a damage uh, control unit one and a small armor repair. I haven't thrown on everything else here. I have a reason for that. Uh, if you've seen me fly frigates in the past, I've usually gone with blaster type of ships. But the ones they gave me were the beam lasers, which are, I guess, the longer range um, these were the free guns they gave me, the longer range uh, weapons. So I'm going to try that out. The biggest difference between, uh, you probably already know this, but uh, Amar ships and other ships using the laser guns is they don't use ammo. Um, they use crystals, and then your um, wep your uh when you fire your guns, it takes away from your capacitor. Um, so, uh, doing a little bit of reading. Um, I have not flown this type of ship very much at all, so it's a big learning process. It's going to be fun. Um, I do did go to a site. This is an older site, but I like it. Um, it's the Alpha's Guide to the Galaxy. been here before. I save it just when I don't know what to do with a new ship, especially these smaller ships. And they give you some really good hints here as to what to do as a beginning player. A little bit of the information is a little bit outdated. I'm not sure how long ago this page was made. Um, can I edit this? Am I allowed to edit this page? No. Okay. That weirded me out. Um, so, um, and I was able to look up the executioner here. And here, it will give you a recommended fit. Now, I found in the past, like I said, this is a little bit out of date. Some of the fit slots have changed. But most of the time, it's pretty accurate for these smaller ships. And it gives me some ideas. Um, 
So it says here to use small focused pulse lasers. Those are your close range. Well, they gave me the long range ones, so I'm using that. So I'm not buying on these. <laughs> um, it's got a 1mn afterburner. Well, I've got the civilian one here. Like I said, uh, I'm just flying this as junk. It's got a stasis webifier, which I may pick up, may not. A small capacitor booster. May pick up, may, may, may not. We'll talk about that here in a second. And last but not least, let me just make sure. Yep, it's recording. I'm paranoid now. Um, I did pick up the small armor repairer, and I picked up the damage control. Just to mitigate some of the damage and allow myself to heal up as I'm fighting. I've got the uh, three multi-frequency uh, crystals. I think they're crystals. Um, or whatever they're called. Um... And those were given to me. The cap boosters would work with the small capacitor booster. Um, so my thought is since the, I'm assuming, since the weapons run off your capacitor, you throw the small cap booster in there to help with that capacitor. But I'm not going to mess with that just yet. I want to see, as I'm flying towards Stain, I'm going to pick up some small fights. Uh, maybe against some hideaways or some burrows, just to see how the weapons work in this. Uh, at some point, I definitely want to pick up a heat sink, because the heat sink increases the damage output of your, your ship. As it says down here, additionally, this the heat sink is a low slot. It passively increases the damage output. Um, oh, wait, yeah, of lasers. So, and I got the defenses here. I'm going to add on more as I go along. I just want to start with the basics. Why? Because I learn more, as I've said before, working my way up. The other thing is I know that I don't have hardly any skills in this type of ship. So let's go take a quick look. Now, since I boosted my frigate levels while I was doing the scanning, I know I don't have to worry about that. But uh, let's go in here and look at my skills for gunnery. Because uh, it, now I try to think about, okay, what did I just add on to the ship? I added on gunnery. I added on armor repair. So let's look at both of those and see if there's anything that I can throw in here. Um, gunnery, there we go. And then got, I'm looking for the small energy turret. Ooh, so I've got a nine gunnery waiting to go there. I can always add that on. Small energy turret is just at... Um, a level one, so that's not the best in the world. Let's take a look down here and look at the ship. Uh, there we go. We'll do the fit. I just want to see how much damage I'm doing with my current fit. We're at 40.2. 40.2. It's got to be... Um, and that's damage per second. Uh, alpha Blast is... This is your Alpha Blast, so... That's 136 hit points of damage. That's if all the guns hit at once, but then, of course, it's got to recharge and reload. So that's why you get the damage per second. So how do you increase the damage per second? Well, you increase the um, the ship stuff here. Where's my skills? There we go. And we'll scroll down. So we got the small energy turret. This one will bump me up. 5% uh, of damage. So we're going to put that here. That'll be done in about an hour. Um, we're going to throw all of these in here just so I don't forget. Okay. So that is up to a day. And then we're going to throw the last one on here at the end. There we go. So I'm still working on my ma Magic 14. Now there are other things that I can do. If I remember correctly, there's rapid firing, which increases my uh, uh, my discharge weight of the weapon, weapons, motion prediction, uh, sharpshooter, and controlled bursts. Uh, I think this one, reduction in capacitor need for weapon turns per skill level. So, now see, that's my only question there is, is that the capacitor need allows a better control over the capacitor use of the weapon turrets. 5% reduction in capacitor need of weapon turrets per skill level. So this one would be probably very helpful for these energy turrets. We're gonna, I'm going to wait on adding these in. I want to do the uh, at least level 2 and level 3 of the um, 
uh, small energy turret, see how that affects it, and then throw in the others. And you guys can kind of see how that changes things. Uh, so we got those. I'll add those in later. We've got, um, ooh, surgical strike. That's a good one. We got zero of that, and that gives another three points of damage. So I'm going to go, first I'm going to boost up the small energy turret damage, then I'm going to throw in the surgical strike, and then the um, rapid damage, and on top of that we'll do the capacitor. And I think trajectory analysis, bonus per skill level, weapon turret accuracy fall off. Last but not least, if I'm not mistaken, I toyed around with a, this a while back, your ability to do damage is done by the amount of damage that you can apply, but also the ability to get good hits in and critical hits in will increase the damage that you can apply. So that might be with the trajectory analysis. But I'm going to bump each one of these up and maybe talk about them. But So this one here, we're at 40.2, and we'll see what happens as the small energy turrets go up. Um... So we're good there. And I'm just going to fly toward... Where am I going to? Um, if I remember correctly, I'm on my way to pain, or pay, pay, um, P-A-Y-E, which is right outside of the entrance to stain. Um, doesn't mean I'll get through to stain, but I'm going to work my way that way. I think I got about 10 jumps. Um, it's going to be really simple stuff to see. Um, but it'll be kind of fun. Good, good, good. So the first thing, all I'm going to do um, is look for anomalies, uh, hideaways or burrows. I think those are the only two I can really kind of do right now. They're the lowest level ones. So I'll keep that up here. Look, see, I'm looking for these anomalies here. Let's go ahead and... Lower that a little bit there. I got none of them there because I'm in this rookie site. So we're going to go ahead and jump through. The only negative for me is I am still in the NPC corp. I'm going to hold off on that. Um, I don't really feel like creating a corporation right now. I'm not going to be making a ton of money doing what I'm doing with this. It's more uh, trying things out. Maybe if I see something along the way. I'll join a corporation, or if I save up the ISK or do the skill points for it, I'll create my own corporation. I don't really care right now. Um, corporations, I, I love being able to talk to people and hang out and learn from different people. If you really want to learn the game, join a corporation. That's it, I learned so much back in the day when I used to play. Okay, so i got no anomalies here, so I can just keep on moving. It is a little bit strange. Um... See how much time we got here. We're at 13. Good times. Um, being out in Stain for the last week and worrying about flying from spot to spot to spot, watching your local, now that I'm back in high sec, uh, it, it's strange just having people in system with me and having those issues. Um, good, good, good. I can make that small. I don't need the full one because I like to watch the pretty colors. There we go. We're just going to keep an eye out over here. Okay, so I got a forsaken new. There's a burrow. I don't know if I can take it out, but we're going to try. Now there's a there's 16 people in system, so there may be somebody else in here already doing this site. Oh, there's a lot of capsules going on here. That's interesting. All right, so I got nobody there. Let's go check these guys out. Like I said, oh, and the other thing too is I need to check to see what my armor repairs abilities are. So we're gonna find out right off the bat here. So I'm gonna do that one there. Um, the one thing is my, I'm so used to using blasters. I need to keep my optimal range farther away from these guys. I don't want them right up on top I don't want to be right up on top of them. I'm going to be a couple thousand off. There we go. So it's hitting and missing me, missing me. Get that going. Now let's see how much damage I can do to these guys. 
The reason why I'm trying to stay a little bit off of these guys is, number one, it helps my transversal. But um, number two, with rail guns and long range guns, you do not want to be close or you will start missing because your trajectory does not hit them well. Okay, these guys aren't being too bad. It is kind of nice not having to work, worry about my ammo. One of the major problems with living out in uh, Nolsec by yourself is you always have to basically make your own ammo, which isn't that big of a deal, but sometimes you just forget it. Okay, so I'm not hitting this guy. Why am I not hitting him? Firing, good. And my beam leaves. Oh, there's a hit. I'm not hitting him real well. As I've always said, a mist hit is the best armor that somebody can have because it doesn't do any damage to you. So a um, warp scrambler might be a little bit helpful here. I'm going to go ahead and remove off the large collateral objects. Because what could happen here is I could actually warp scramble. Is it warp? No, I'm sorry. Webify this fellow, which would slow him down. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change targets here and see if that helps at all. Oh, I hit him again. Dang it. Be fine. Um, which slows him down and makes him an easier target. The other thing that might be is maybe if I'm going too fast, it changes my speeds. I don't want to shoot that one. I want to shoot him. There we go. So let's see here. My optimal range is 52.94. My fall off range is 73. So I did slow myself down a little bit. Notice they're hitting me for a little bit more. They were hitting me for like one and missing me a lot. Now they're hitting me more because my train. Whoop, I got him. So I added on the ability to hurt him, but then I also um, added on the ability for them to hurt me. Okay. So let's see what happens with this fellow. Actually, while we are, this guy really isn't hurting me too much. I'm going to check to see what was in this guy's stuff. Eh, not much. Okay. Now we got scavengers. And this is really low-level stuff here going on. Keeping an eye on my shields. I'm perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and lock these guys up. Just got to get within 7,000. There we go. Ooh, that was quick. Okay, that's good. Hit him again. Oh, but they are hitting me now. See this? Getting hit a little bit more. Doing a lot more damage there. My shields are going down a little bit. Twenty-three. What I'm doing, too, is getting kind of the feel for the ship. Um, I do have my armor repairer here. And it looks like my guns aren't really hurting my capacitor too much. So that's a good thing. Not hitting him for a whole lot. Looks like he's able to heal, too. Yep, see that? He healed up there. He's, a, he's an armor healer, just like I am. Armor repairer. Okay, so they're into my armor. Let's start my armor repairing up here a little bit, just see how much it fixes. Again, my armor repair skill is probably pretty low. Oh, got it all back there. Come on, baby. Let's kill this first guy off. 
Oh, we almost got him. <laughs> there we go. Okay, number two. A reaver. Fire away. Let's kill back that little bit. I'm, oh, he went. He got hurt pretty bad. Uh, I'm sorry, a ravener. And last but not least, a Sinti scavenger. Let's go ahead and get that armor back up real quick. Now, I'm wondering too with uh there we go. Okay, so a little bit more here, maybe a little bit tougher, I don't know. Let's see what this guy had. Okay, he's almost within range. Good. Pop. Ooh, nice hit. No, oh, just some wreckage. That's fine. <laughs> now the question is, I've linked all of these weapons. Since I'm having problems hitting these guys, would it be better for me to unlink them so it's not just an all-in-one shot? I don't know. It would be tougher to actually set up the shooting gallery going on here. I'd have to fire off each gun. Still missing there. The question is, okay, let's see if I approach him. Do I get a straight on shot on him? Boom, hit him there, 58, boom. So let's try that. Rather than, by going straight on, I make myself more of a target. No, well, there we go. That was a lot faster. Okay. Now we got somebody in s in the area here. Let's see if they're gonna go kill my ships that I'm trying to kill. Baron Howitzer is his name. Let's go ahead and get our afterburner on here. Look like he's going after him just yet. He's in a coercer, which is the destroyer version. It's interesting. He's just sitting. oh, so he's going after him. Yeah, he's he's trying to clear these guys out too. So I normally don't do this. Whenever somebody's doing a site, I just let them have that site. And that's up to whoever wants to do whatever, but Enslaver. I don't know what enslaver is. Come on, buddy. Kill him before this other guy shoots him. There we go. 
Alrighty, so nothing else here. Let's go see what our loot has for us. Probably nothing, but you never know. Especially at these uh, lower levels. What I'm also wanting to do is see what types of items these ships drop. Do they drop armor repairing, shield repairing? Um, what type of uh, uh, EM do they drop? I could look it up, but nope. I'm going to play and do it. Mm. Oh, I'm already there. That's dumb of me. Stop drinking your coffee, Bill. And, oops, so we got, so they do drop the uh, crystals. So that's a, uh, what are these called? They're called uh, infrared S modulates beam laser weapon into infrared for a slightly improved range. And that's the next part, is to actually look at this type of ammo and see what does what, what it's like. He's still hanging out. Okay, he finally left. I don't mind too much. He's a 5D old character. What I've kind of noticed doing these high sex sites, which I, it just seems like, and I don't want to say people are botting, um, but a lot of times I just see these ships fly in and they're like robots. They just kill whatever's there and move on. Ooh, there we go. So we got a armor repair upgrade. Good. Now let's see, are there any other sites in this area? Nope. Okay. So let's just jump to the next site, next um, system. Uh, I'll show you here on dot land where I was at. So this is where I died at. Let's go universe. And what system am I at there? I am in domain right now. So domain is right here. Oh, well, oh, that's a lot to look at. Uh, I'm not going to pin it down right now. Uh, let's see here. Let's get back in the game here. Any other anomalies here? Nope, nothing here. Oh, I can, I can do the... Uh, Ooh, this takes me right through the system of Amar, the uh, the main trade hub. I think I might dock up here. Um, let's see what we got. I want to buy a heat sink. Heat sink. One jump away. We're going to set our location to here. Set destination. Um, so... Um, what I'll do is I'll dock up, buy myself a heatsink, just to see what the damage level is different. Um, then I'll probably end the video a little bit after that. I want to look at some equipment, see if I can get my uh, targeting a little bit better, because obviously I was missing a bunch of guys. Um, also, probably work on my game skilling while I'm not there. Let's see here. just want to show you what the difference is in the heatsink blowing things up. So... There we go. But I think I'm only like six away from pay, so that'll be a good jump off point. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Poor, um, I think those are Titans there. In dark light. Okay. So docked up there. Um. So let's just see here. I've got forty point two DPS. Let's jump in here, and we will buy ourselves a heat sink. Buy this. Buy one. Here's my fitting here. There we go. 
Oh, yeah, and I can upgrade. So let's watch both of these here. So right now, uh, my defense. Okay, armor, shield, and hit points. So my, I think we are effective hit points, approximate total hit points of the ship with current resistances. Um, now, the small armor repairer here show does um let's, let's see here does it's an activation cost hit points repaired 69 now the show info 79 so i'm going to upgrade that just a little bit from something that i picked up and now i know never to buy a small armor repair because i know i can kill little guys that are out there and pick up a better one. Now, am I going to use that forever? No, as my ships get better, but at least starting off, this is kind of fun. Don't need this. This is for fleeting up. Um, so, I'm actually going to drop these here. Later on, I'll compare the uh, crystal there. Um, and then the heat sink that I got. There we go. So, we're at 40.2. And we'll drop that here. 46.7, so a pretty big jump there. So what do I want to do now? I could put a web scrambler, or I'm sorry, web um, web of fire on here to slow the other guys down, make them easier to hit. Or I might be able to find a tracking computer or something like that to throw in here to maybe help myself shoot them better or get, just get my skills better. So right now we're at 46.7 which is greatly diminished by my ability to not hit the opponent, um, <laughs> as you saw. Um, but other than that, let's see where we're at. Anything else going on? We're about 32 minutes. So I think that was pretty good. Um, like I said, this is all I'm going to do for the day. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, thoughts, please just message me in the game um, uh, at uh, Jeremiah Johnson 72 Jeremiah Space Johnson, 73. Or um, you can just message me on the YouTube channel. I will usually try to reply to everything. Alrighty. Other than that, fly safe, fly dangerously, fly however the heck you want. Have a good one. Bye-bye.